Old Man Winter surging back into the bluegrass state. I'm tracking an Arctic cold front and more snow just ahead. A southeastern Kentucky man dies in a house fire. The cause remains under investigation. My job is to govern, not to sit on the outside and be an armchair quarterback. Governor Matt Bevin fires back after former Governor Steve Bashir launches a campaign to save Connect. This is WKYT News at 5. We hope you enjoyed a beautiful day out there. Break from the harsh winter because snow is coming back and so are some much colder temperatures. Yeah, we have snow showers arriving just in time for our morning commute and they'll be followed by more frigid air. We begin with WKYT Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey and a check of that forecast. Yeah, areas of southern Kentucky guys could pick up on a little light accumulation of snow. First thing tomorrow morning, everybody has at least a chance for the ground to get coated early tomorrow morning. Best chance to impact the roads would be across Southern Kentucky. That's why we have that winter weather advisory for all the counties that are shaded in blue. That includes the Bowling Green area, London, Corbin, Somerset, Williamsburg, over into parts of Hazard and toward Pike County as well. Nothing showing up on your Defender radar network for now. Not expecting anything out there this evening until we get into especially late tonight. Look at that little round of snow stretching from the Dakotas through Iowa. It's going to zip its way quickly toward the southeast. That'll be a light snowmaker late tonight and early tomorrow morning. Now, your hour by our future radar. Check this out. Watch how it tries to increase some snow flurries late this evening, and then that stuff begins to diminish. Then the northwestern sky by 3 or 4 o'clock tomorrow morning begins to light up with a little round of some light snow. And notice how it is indeed targeting parts of southern Kentucky as we go into the first couple of hours of tomorrow. Everyone, fair game for at least snow showers and squalls tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night as bitterly cold air and especially bitterly cold wind chills back into the bluegrass state as we go into our weekend that may end with a developing winter storm throwing snow and a nasty mix into parts of the region starting late Sunday into Monday and Tuesday. Guys, we'll highlight that potential when I come back in just under 15 minutes. Chris, we'll see you then. Thank you. He loved his family and his animals. Today, a southeastern Kentucky man and his dog were found dead after a house fire. The fire started early this morning in the Burning Springs community of Clay County near the Jackson County line. WKYT's Phil Pendleton talked to the victim's family about what he meant to them. It's our top story at 5. The tragedy here happened very early this morning. The victim's son tells me that he was first notified of this just after 4 o'clock. State police say they were called just after five. The fire department arrived. Relatives say the victim was found in the floor. They believe that he was trying to get out when he was simply overcome by the smoke and the flames. I run up where he sleeps at. It kind of looks like I'm laying there, but it could have been what was left of the frame of the couch, you know. Landon Edwards uh, says his father was found near the area around a couch that he slept on because he had back problems. Yeah, Relatives say him. his beloved dog was found on the back of the couch, also dead. He was just a great dad to me, you know what I'm saying? I could call him up, and dad come down and help me do this and do that, and I, it wouldn't be a shakes of a tail. He'd be down to home. His son says Delmer Chester Edwards, who went by the nickname Littlein, was a well known veterinarian in Clay County and helped everyone with their animal needs. He would come down and help us feed our chickens and, and water our mules and our horses and, and uh, feed the hog. The cause remains under investigation. State police say they don't suspect foul play. The victim's son tells me that his father had recently bought some new sources of supplemental heat. They question if that may be was behind the cause of this fire. In Clay County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. State police say an autopsy will be done on Edwards' body tomorrow. It is a showdown over health care between Kentucky's current governor and the man he replaced. Today, former Governor Steve Bashir went after Governor Matt Bevin's plan to dismantle Connect. WKYT's Caitlin Sentner is at the live desk for us to show us how Bashir is fighting to save his signature program. Caitlin? Former Governor Bashir has sparked a conversation about the welfare of Kentucky's health care, and he's going up against Kentucky's current governor, Matt Bevin. Today, the, governor, the former governor launched the campaign Save Kentucky Healthcare and what's seemingly an effort to preserve his legacy. 
Under his administration, Connect, Kentucky's health insurance exchange was created. Governor Bevin wants it dismantled, saying it's costing Kentuckians millions of dollars. Bashir isn't going down without a fight. Governor Bevin prides himself on being a successful businessman. So he should recognize and appreciate hard numbers and facts and evidence. He should value the new research that day by day confirms the effectiveness of Kentucky's approach to health care reform. It's easy from the outside to sit there and point to studies paid for with other people's money that are absolutely baloney and say that that is reason enough for the actual keeping of whatever it is that somebody would like. My job is to govern, not to sit on the outside and be an armchair quarterback. Now, if Connect is dismantled under Bevin's administration, Kentuckians would then sign up for their health care on KentuckyHealthCare.gov. From the live desk, Caitlin Setner, WKYT. Caitlin, thank you. Kentuckians wouldn't be impacted by the change until this fall during the open enrollment period for health care. Beware of scammers. That is the message from Kentucky law enforcement. Attorney General Andy Bashir joined sheriffs from Fayette and Franklin counties today to issue the warning. They say more and more scammers are pretending to be sheriff's deputies in order to steal your hard-earned money. The crooks claim you need to pay up for missing jury duty or for having a federal warrant. Oh, I want to send the message, and I know all these sheriffs do too, that you do not prey on our most vulnerable in Kentucky. Uh, I will tell you from my end, uh, and my involvement, we will charge them with absolutely everything we can. If you receive a call from a sheriff's office asking for money, you should hang up and report it to your local sheriff. We have learned the name of a man killed in a motor scooter crash. Our county by county coverage begins in Clark County. The coroner identified that man as 52 year old Ronald Ritchie of Winchester. The crash happened about one yesterday afternoon on Rockwell Road at Kurt Drive. Investigators say a pickup hit Ritchie's motor scooter head on. A Pulaski County grand jury has indicted a murder suspect in several crimes. 35 year old Brett Crozier was indicted for murder, burglary, and two counts of kidnapping. Police say he shot and killed Albert Hale last month. The grand jury also indicted him for two other shooting incidents and a chase on October 25th. During the chase, police say Crozier had two children with him. Bourbon County could be adding a needle exchange program. The fiscal court will vote tonight on whether to authorize the health department to start such a program. The Board of Health and the Paris City Commission have already given their approval. Lexington, Nicholasville, Louisville, and Pendleton County also have needle exchange programs. Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders will debate again tonight as the Democratic presidential candidates focus on the Nevada caucuses. As Marley Hall shows us, for Republicans, it's all about South Carolina, where voters will head to the polls next week. Republican presidential candidates are turning on the Southern charm in South Carolina. Florida Senator Marco Rubio told a crowd in Myrtle Beach he favored a more respectful tone. When Republicans tear each other up, the Democrats cheer. When conservatives tear each other up, the liberals cheer. Across town, Ohio Governor John Kasich made a humble request. If you like me, give me a vote and get on the phone and call a bunch of other people. But polls show Donald Trump, the most confrontational candidate, has a commanding lead. It's a movement. It's a movement to take our country back. Jeb Bush questioned Trump's motives. Do you want an entertainer in chief? Someone who will say whatever he wants to, you know, to make it, make it all about him? The Democratic candidates Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders will face off for another debate here tonight at the University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee. This should be a very important and exciting debate now that the candidates have drawn almost even with each other. I think University of Wisconsin professor Katherine Olson says Clinton must connect with key voter groups. She needs to show that she's passionate about what the voters she's losing to Sanders care about. She can't just be knowledgeable about the policies, but she has to show that she's in touch with the young people, the African-American vote, the women. And those are exactly the groups with which Sanders has been making gains. Marley Hall, CBS News, Milwaukee. Hillary Clinton is getting some help from Capitol Hill. Today, she picked up the endorsement of the Congressional Black Caucus. It is a chance to forget about the snow and cold weather. Good idea. The Kentucky Sport, Boat, and Recreation Show is underway at Rupp Arena starting this afternoon. And our Jim Caldwell is live to show us all the fun you can have there through the weekend. Hi, Jim. 
And there is plenty to do here at Heritage Hall and Rump Arena at the Kentucky Sport Boat and Recreation Show. We're on uh, an elevated makeshift pier for the indoors, so we have a better look uh, than most people do because we can see all the boats off in the distance. And all this wants, uh, all this does for me is just says, hey, winter is something I don't want to think about anymore. And being a meteorologist, for me to say that, that's telling you a whole lot. I'm tired of Chris Bailey and his bad winter voodoo. I'm ready for that to come to to an end any day now. Unfortunately, we know that's not the case as we look toward next week with a more eventful forecast. But right now, what we're doing is we're talking about boats. We're talking about RVs. We are talking about all kinds of things you can come over here and do. And it's not just for the adults who want to get out and enjoy some of these recreational activities. We've got the wall out there for you to maybe flex your muscles a little bit, climb that wall. I know you've seen those walls all over the place. You've got the zip line. I've said this before when I've been down here. You know what? Crawl in. Anthony Towns uh, and Anthony Davis, they did a lot at Rupp Arena. But you know what? They never zip lined across Rupp Arena. You have the chance to do something that those two didn't. So you can come down here. We're going to be here through uh, 9 o'clock tonight, tomorrow from about 2 to 9, and then this weekend, Saturday, the big day, from 9 until 9 o'clock. So you have plenty of time to come down here. And uh, some of our crews here right now, we've got Rob here, Dave Baker's here, and I know that uh, Amber and Sam and Chris are all going to make their rounds here as well. Just a lot to do down here at Heritage Hall and Rupp Arena, guys. Sounds great. Thank you, Jim. And we'll have a preview of this weekend's exciting event. Join us for the Kentucky Sport Boat and Recreation Special. That's tonight at 6.30 on the CW Lexington. The number of flu cases jumping this week. The reason for the rise a little later. When it comes to diabetes, some foods are better than others. We'll show you the best ones for you in better living. A devastating fall got her to the hospital. What they found changed her life. Brain cancer. At first I thought my life was over. The amazing story that has led her back home to UK. A life-saving fall, tonight at 6 on WKYT. Sometimes you get in your mid-40s and you're working harder than ever in the gym and sometimes it's not your fault. And that's where Body Shapes came in. I'm stronger, I'm faster, I've got more passion, more energy, and I'm happier than ever. Without hesitation, I tell anyone to go to Body Shapes. It's Furniture World Superstore's biggest tax refund sale ever. Now's a great time to redecorate your home because Furniture World stretches your tax refund with huge savings store-wide, plus two years interest-free. Now at Furniture World, use your tax refund to refurnish your living room or dining room, update your bedroom, sleep better on a comfortable new mattress. We're serious about saving you big money. Get huge tax refund savings, plus it's interest-free for two full years. So hurry in and save during our biggest tax refund sale ever. Now at all five Furniture World Superstore locations. You're probably wondering, with all the meat that Arby's has, do they have ocean meat? Well, wonder no longer. Arby's has more wild-caught Alaskan pollock fillets than you could ever imagine. Especially if you're only imagining one fillet. Eat two crispy fish fillet sandwiches or flatbreads for $5. Arby's, we have the meat. It's bold, it's exciting, it's groundbreaking. Toyota is the President's Weekend event. Now through Tuesday, get $500 President's Weekend bonus cash on any new 2016 RAV4. Get 0% financing on many of Toyota's best-selling models or leases from just $159 a month for this stylish Corolla S. Don't miss the President's Weekend event going on now. Toyota, let's go places. We had real people make their own pizzas. They chose the ingredients they wanted. I like the fresh dough. What's BHA? I'm going to go with the one that doesn't have the acronyms. Get the one without fillers. What are fillers? You guys just made your pizza the way I make my pizza. Oh, hey! No ingredients that you can't pronounce. No artificial flavors. And we're proud to announce our new quality guarantee. Love your pizza or get another one absolutely free. Get any large pizza with up to five toppings for just $9.99, online only at PapaJohns.com. For the first time and since I can remember in forever, I liked shopping because I liked how I looked in the clothes I tried on, so that's been really fun. The more you lose, the more you want to stick to it and do it, and that was my motivation. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey.
Little swath of light snow heading to the area late tonight and tomorrow morning, focusing more on the southern half of the area. It's nothing that is necessarily heavy, just maybe more of a nuisance first thing tomorrow morning for some travelers. And that's uh, the reason we have a winter weather advisory that is out for southern Kentucky. The counties that are shaded in blue underneath that from Pikeville through the Stanford area, Lincoln County, over toward parts of Bowling Green. And south from there. That will go until noon tomorrow. Defender Radar Network, nothing out there now. Mainly sunny skies all day long. Boy, that sun looking awfully, awfully good out there today. Little band of snow, though, streaking toward the south and southeast. We'll kind of turn the corner right along the Kentucky Tennessee border counties. And for that reason, we may see upwards of an inch of snow across parts of southern Kentucky. Tomorrow night, though, northwesterly winds should pick up some moisture from Lake Michigan. Put down a little light snow and snow shower action into parts of central and eastern Kentucky. I think most areas come in under an inch, maybe an inch or two southeastern Kentucky, all told from tomorrow through tomorrow night. This is not a big, big deal. May impact your uh, commute, though, at times tomorrow morning, southern Kentucky, then area wide tomorrow night. The snow, the slick road factor, fairly low this go around. It's all about the cold and the wind chills coming up as we go from tomorrow night and into Saturday, especially. Look at the wind chill numbers that our computer models are spitting out. Start you out this time tomorrow. May feel like it's into the low and mid teens, northern Kentucky. Here comes that Arctic air. 10 o'clock tomorrow night. Feels like it's single digits. Now we go below zero for a wind chill number. Saturday morning, 7 o'clock. Look how cold those numbers are showing up across the entire area. Every single reporting station showing up on this map. Should have a wind chill at or below zero at times as we go into Saturday, and we could approach northern Kentucky double digit wind chills below zero, minus 10, minus 11, minus 12. Three o'clock Saturday afternoon, if you're expecting a big rebound, probably not going to happen. A little better Sunday morning, it's only going to fill zero to five below by that time. That's with clouds increasing and a little snow coming in quickly during the afternoon and evening. That'll be our next system that we highlight. Through tomorrow night, a lot of low level moisture around with Lake Michigan open for business. Models are going to underplay the snow showers and flurries into Saturday morning. Saturday afternoon, we're likely in the teens for highs. Saturday evening, out on the town, bundle up. It's going to fill zero or below. Now we go into Sunday. Here comes a little swath of snow developing as we go through the evening and into the wee hours of the morning. That's ahead of the main low that will take a track then out of the Ozarks across parts of Tennessee and then turning the corner up the eastern seaboard. That could bring uh, winter storm conditions to parts of our region. Will it be in the form of all snow? Will it be snow, mixed snow, rain, sleet? You get the idea. Stay tuned for that one as we get closer to the weekend forecast. Right now, odds favor a snow streak on Sunday. Then we go into Sunday night, Monday, and Tuesday. Could be all snow, could be a little bit of everything falling from the skies. We'll fine tune it over the next couple of days. I guess it's good that it's Valentine's weekend. Maybe you want to be inside all snuggled up, maybe? It's snuggle weather. It's fine as <laughs> this weekend. That is the snuggle weather. Report. I like that. Thank you, sir. Live look at Lexington rush hour traffic this afternoon. Traffic slow, nothing else surprises. It's still slow outbound Richmond Road coming up on the circle, and of course Nicholas Hill Road approaching New Circle too. A couple of crashes, one's at Liberty and Downs. That's a non-injury, and we also have a crash at New Circle and Russell Cave uh, that's showing the left turn lane block. Now, as far as drive times are concerned, outbound toward Nicholas Hill right now, looking good. Toward Paris on Paris Pike, or about normal, no major delays, and toward Clark County. Now back to you in the studio. Thanks, Don. More hearings today on the president's request for money to fight the Zika virus. What health officials told lawmakers about the spread of the virus just ahead. A bar that became the scene of a fight between college football players has closed. The role that fight played in the shutdown on WKYT News at 530. Kentucky mornings start here. Breaking in overnight news, weather to plan your day, plus traffic you can take with you. Make WKYT this morning part of your Kentucky morning. Weekdays from 4.30 to 7 on WKYT. This President's Day weekend at Ashley Home Store. Save up to 25% off, plus get 12 months interest free store wide. Don't miss doorbusters like this stylish sofa, now only $3.79. Four days only. Ends Monday. Ashley Home Store. This is home. These little chickies and little doggies are small, but they're intense. Oh, yeah, small but intense, like my niece Hannah. Oh, yeah. And you uh, take karate? Yes, she does. Show them how intense you are, Hannah. Yeah, yeah! Ah! Oh, my God. Hey! Yes. Now finish him. 
Bow to her, Peter. I'm gonna bow to it. Bow to her, Peter. Big flavor and a little package. New little chickies and little doggies. And grab a burrito and drink for $3 delivered in two minutes, guaranteed. This is how you Sonic. They say life gets better the older you get. And time becomes more valuable. Time to spend with family. Time to try new things. Time to have fun. At Kroger, you can have your prescriptions filled while you shop. So it's easy to save money and time with your Kroger Pharmacy. And you can get back to the things you love. Be heart smart. Your Kroger pharmacist can help you understand your heart health numbers, your medications, and so much more. See your Kroger pharmacist today. With Haverty's Furniture, your home can be perfect, even when life isn't. Our President's Day sale is happening now. From classic to contemporary, Haverty's. Going to a fast food joint for slow smoke pork is like going to a carpenter for a root canal. Sure, they got a drill. But do you really want that in your mouth? Come get some real slow smoke pork at Sonny's Barbecue. Both pulled and sliced pork with sides and bread for $9.99. Or with a redneck egg roll for $11.99. Sonny's Barbecue. Local pit masters since 68. This President's Day weekend at Ashley Home Store. Pay no interest for five full years with no minimum purchase store-wide. Like this nail head trim sofa or queen panel bed now less than $13 a month. Ends Monday. Ashley Home Store. This is home. When big news breaks, be the first to know. Download the WKYT News app and turn on push alerts. Breaking news at your fingertips when you need to know what's going on. Push alerts, now available on the WKYT News app. Keep up with the latest news on WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. The number of cases of flu in Kentucky has jumped. Last week, Kentucky had 61 confirmed cases. This week, there are 106. We're told the numbers, though, do not reflect an increase in flu activity. The increase is the result of the discovery of delayed flu reports dating all the way back to October. The head of the Centers for Disease Control went before lawmakers today to argue for funding to fight the Zika virus. Yesterday, the CDC confirmed a link between Zika and a birth defect called microcephalophily. My, President Obama is asking for $250 million to help Puerto Rico, where there have been more than two dozen cases. Health officials say it could get worse for people on, in that country. We may see rapid spread through the island, and we need to respond urgently. It's certainly sudden. This is something which, until late last year, no one had any idea that a mosquito bite could result in uh, a serious fetal malformation. Now, the government is shipping Zika virus tests to health departments, but officials warn there could be temporary shortages. The standoff at an Oregon wildlife refuge is over. The final four occupiers surrendered this morning. An Idaho state lawmaker says all four are now in custody. The standoff began January 2nd when an armed group opposed to federal land use policies took control of the refuge. It's a discovery being compared to the moment Galileo took up a telescope to look at the planets. Today, scientists say they have finally detected the ripples in the fabric of space-time that Einstein predicted a century ago. An extremely sensitive $1.1 billion instrument called LIGO detected the waves. I think we're doing something equally important here today. I think we're opening a window on the universe, the window of gravitational wave astronomy. For astronomers, this discovery is like turning a silent movie into a talking movie because the waves are the soundtrack of the cosmos. Eastern Kentucky University unveiling the contents of a time capsule. We'll show you the items from another time on WKYT News at 530. The best foods to eat when you have diabetes and the health issues making the lifespan of Americans shorter. The story's next in Better Living. I'm WKYT's Miranda Combs and I stand for Kentucky. 
It's not about the distance you have to go. It's about the drive that gets you there. It's what makes us Kentucky strong, independent, and proud. Giving it your best 100% every day because that's what it takes. When it comes to getting things done, nothing outperforms, outworks, or outshines Ford F-Series trucks from Paul Miller. 39 years and still the leader. Ford F-150 from Paul Miller. Big Blue Nation's destination. United we stand, Kentucky strong. Ford trucks and Paul Miller. Before contemplating the many choices on Steak and Shake's $4 menu, one must calm the mind in our Zen garden. Focus. The garlic double steak burger meal. Reflect. The taco salad meal. Zen. The original double and cheese steak burger meal. Oh! <sighs> the $4 menu, where all meals are under $4 at Steak and Shake. Just in time for your long winner's nap. 0% financing for six years and free TVs. This week at Sleep Outfitters. Saving storewide with Sealy mattresses as low as $99 each piece. This Sealy gel foam pillow top just $4.99 with a free TV. A Tempur-Pedic adjustable queen set just $34 a month. 0% financing for six years. Free TVs, storewide savings, and free same-day delivery. Happening now at Sleep Outfitters. Clients come into the office. The government has said, no, I don't believe you. You're not disabled. The major problem with Social Security disability is that most people who sign up are denied at the initial level. If your claim's denied, don't give up. Call us immediately. We'll appeal your case. We can do an effective job of representing you that will get you the benefits that you deserve. Call Morgan, Collins, and Yeast. 1-800-55-WILDCAT. Announcing the ultimate Red Tech event at Adams Buick GMC Truck in Richmond. With GM supplier pricing for everyone on every new GMC. That means every new GMC terrain at GM supplier pricing. Every new Sierra pickup at GM supplier pricing. And every new Acadia at GM supplier pricing. Plus, get the Adams Advantage, a limited lifetime powertrain warranty. The ultimate Red Tech event only at one place. Adams Buick GMC Truck in Richmond, where... See it says sell them. It's Furniture World Superstore's biggest tax refund sale ever. Now's a great time to redecorate your home because Furniture World stretches your tax refund with huge savings store-wide, plus two years interest-free. Now at Furniture World, use your tax refund to refurnish your living room or dining room, update your bedroom, sleep better on a comfortable new mattress. We're serious about saving you big money. Get huge tax refund savings, plus it's interest-free for two full years. So hurry in and save during our biggest tax refund sale ever. Now at all five Furniture World Superstore locations. It's time now for better living, health, education, and consumer news that impacts your life. New research suggests Americans are not living as long as people in other developed nations. Researchers calculated death rates by age, gender, and cause for the U.S. and 12 other countries. They found that while shootings, accidents, and drug overdoses only account for 4% of U.S. deaths, they are a large part of why American life expectancy might be shorter. The authors of the study say if we can reduce deaths from these causes, we could possibly gain about a year of life expectancy back. It appears horses can identify emotion on human faces. Psychologists analyzed the reactions of 28 horses when they looked at happy or angry facial expressions. Horses tended to use their left eye when looking at angry faces and equine behavior typically associated with negative stimuli. Angry photos boosted their heart rates and triggered stress-related behaviors. Researchers think the reaction to negative expressions might be how animals recognize a threat to their environment. When you have diabetes, you have to keep a careful watch on your diet. Just because some foods are off limits doesn't mean you can't have yummy meals. Holly Furfer shows us some diabetes superfoods that are both healthy and delicious. In the fruit category, the superfoods are berries. Blueberries, strawberries, blackberries, they're all deliciously sweet. And guess what? They're good for you. They're loaded with antioxidants, fiber, and vitamins. Skip the regular potato and go for the sweet potato. And if you like a little cinnamon on your sweet potato, well, some studies have shown that cinnamon can also reduce your glycemic index. So sprinkle away. 
dark leafy greens are superfoods like spinach, kale, Brussels sprouts. They all contain a micronutrient that can help reduce inflammation and strengthen nerves that might have been damaged by diabetic neuropathy. And even though tomatoes are a fruit, they're rich in vitamins C and E and iron. And they can help reduce the risk of heart disease, a common and serious problem for people with diabetes. Rounding out the superfood buffet table, fish rich in omega 3 fatty acids like salmon and tuna, they can reduce inflammation and your risk of heart attack or stroke. But don't be frying that fish because then it doesn't count. For today's Health Minute, I'm Holly Furfer. For more health, education, and consumer news, just go to WKYT.com and click on Better Living. Now, here's what's coming up at 5 30.